All right, I'm here with Dave Pickett, and uh, you said you served in the United States Army. Is that correct? That's correct. Cool. What years did you get drafted? What years did you get drafted in? Uh, sixty-nine to seventy-one. Sixty-nine to seventy-one. So what? Eighteen, nineteen? Uh, no, no. I was, I was, uh, twenty, almost twenty-three. Oh wow! I spent uh, five years in college. And then once you got out. I went right to the, the head of, hey, right to the, head of the, the line. line. <laughs> hey, we'll move out of the way. This guy's coming. Um, so obviously you went, you spent some time in Vietnam. Yes. That's you said. I think earlier six to eight months. Is that right? I spent my last ten months. Last there. ten months. Last ten months out of those two years. Yeah. Then then you run out of time. So, yeah, you got to get out. Uh, different type of situation. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, not like World War Two, where they went in. I have a lot more respect for those guys. They were in until it was over. Yeah, we just had to survive that year, and uh, uh, you were out. Mm-hmm. So now that now that the guys now uh, some people are getting deployed two and three times. Yeah, I don't know how much luck you can have. Uh, yeah, it kind of gets. Your I wouldn't. Odds, I wouldn't have odds. wanted another deployment. Yeah, your <laughs> odds change every time. Yeah. Um, when did you do in the army? I was a combat medic. Oh, oh, wow, cool. Yeah. Is that something that you picked, or they picked you to do it? I think you get picked for uh, different things. Uh, progressively, I, I uh, flunked the colorblind test. Uh, didn't find out this till later. Well, when you flunk the colorblind test, the good thing about that, it keeps you out of the infantry. Yeah. So once I found out about it, I thought, oh, this is good. I'll never see any action. But uh, I guess they figure medics don't have to see anything. <laughs> so. Just get pointed in a direction <laughs> yeah, and yeah. run. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, uh, everyone talks about, I, I actually, early on in doing this, took a guy out who was a medic during the Korean War and talked about, Ma- MASH got brought up, obviously, because that, you know, and he was so pissed off about that movie and the way they made it look. And he was he wasn't like that at all. He was just, I was just so mad about how, and he had a good point, you know. I, but at the same time, I think when they made that show, they kind of did it in the same sense like they did Hogan's Heroes. You know what I mean? You make the enemy look ridiculous, and that's how you deal with it, through humor instead of anger. Which, at least, there's always two sides to it, but that's just, kind of, that's just kind of what I took from that. So, did you, were you, sta- did you, were you like stationed in an area where, uh, like a hospital area? Or you I know, was down like in the, uh, the Mekong Delta. Okay. Okay. Um, Pretty near the Cambodian border. Okay. Uh, I was actually stationed at a mass ho- mass hospital. Yeah. Third Surgical Hospital. Okay. Ben Tui. Uh, so, uh, where'd you do your uh, basic at? Fort Leonard Wood. Oh, really? So, are you are you from this area? I'm from Illinois. You're from Illinois. About 100 miles south of Chicago. Okay, cool. Dan- Danville, Illinois. So are you a Cubs fan? Uh, you grew up a Cubs <laughs> fan, yeah. What are you now, then? <laughs> oh, a Royals oh, fan. I really? Spent, yeah, I spent a lot of time in Kansas City. Okay, cool. So yeah. you're a Chiefs fan, then? Yes. Yeah, good. Yeah. Well, that's something we definitely have in common. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, did you ever go to, in, like, Memorial Games or anything, like, back in the day, at Memorial Stadium or anything? Uh, I went to a few football games when I was in Kansas City. Uh-huh. I worked for a uh, I worked for a, a big retail company, Kmart. Oh wow! Yeah, I uh, bet you guys did a lot of stuff. Yeah, right? and uh, through them we got to see a lot of games, games and, and stuff. stuff. Yeah. That's cool. Through the pharmacy operations and stuff like that. That's really cool. Well, um, food's here, so I guess we're done. So uh, thank you very much for your service, and uh, thanks for coming to lunch with me today. Thank you very much.